Before going for lunch, I gave you a question to think. How many of you remember I gave you the question? First thing is this. The second thing would be coming on that whether did you think or not. How many of you remember that, that I gave you the question? Okay, that's great. And how many of you gave a little thought on it? No one? Okay. So anyone would like to give their opinion on that? And you have thought about it, why not? Okay, I saw your hand. Yeah, please. Can you tell me about the same thing? Okay. Okay, anyone else? Only one person? In the entire 47, only one person thought and came up with their thoughts. No one else? You can tell me about it. I saw few hands like you told that I have been with thought of it. Okay, even if you didn't thought, now I'll give you one more minute. Now think, okay? That whether AC is a AI or not. Yeah. Yeah, perfectly said. Take decisions by that. 
someone from last four? Yeah, yeah, sir, mask. Yeah. So, the machine uh, learns itself with the help of the data sets which it has. Right. So you know, you know all of you know something. Why are you speaking to me? Okay, fine. Anyone from the last row? Right? Somewhere I have done something very proud. 
as the experience you which taught you what is good. Because in that way only you will be able to achieve the hundred percent result, right? So again coming back here on the AI, so you will choose the mastic and uh, because you are intelligent. Now do you think animals are intelligent? Everyone thinks animals are intelligent. Yes. Which animal do you think is one of the most intelligent? Dolphins. Dolphin? Dogs? Okay. This? Yes. But I don't have that in it. Do you think elephants are yes. intelligent? Very intelligent? Yes. Big? Big head. Big head. Okay. So, okay, they are intelligent, I agree you. Okay, so now my question would be, uh, let's suppose you are right now in a jungle, okay, and surrounded with hundreds of elephants, right? And generally you might have seen in cartoons and movies that uh, elephants can hold the trunks of the trees in their trunk, right? Have you seen this scene? Okay, so they might be using the same way to do it hundred years ago. So some parents were asking around it, and now how they are doing? Same. Same. Dogs are very intelligent. So dog used to walk on less than 300 BC. I don't know dog was there or not, but yeah, let's assume 100 of years back. But right now, are dogs walking or they are they are riding in a bike? Walking, right? Still walking. Humans and humans means of course they are walking or not since they are not walking. But have they innovated some new things? Right? So now what do you think? Animals are intelligent or not? Yeah, so basically we can say this they are intelligent, but not enough. Their intelligence is restricted to their food and shelter. The bird if I say the bird, if I say, knew on 500 years back that how to make nest on a tree. But now they know how to make nest in our homes as well. Whether it is not a lighthouse, right? Okay, they can make nest there. Right? So they are smart. Similarly, we say dolphin. Dolphin is intelligent, but not up to a certain level. Because dolphin can play with us. Right? I don't know. I haven't played and even not seen a show. But I have seen a movie. We keep the balls, they can dance with the balls and all. But if I say, I remove that ball with the watermelon, what will happen? Is the dolphin going to play with it or not? They are going to play with it, right? Because they have been trained in such a way that whatever is spherical, is spherical color thing which you see, which is bright in color, you have to that you have to keep that in their nose, right? So again, we are training them and they are restricted to that training. They are not innovating new things or coming out of the box. Right? They have emotional intelligence as well. Animals have emotional intelligence, but not to us uh, level of humans, of course. Right? Now coming back to the part, parents. So is anyone between us have parents in home? No? Have you seen parrots or not? Okay. Have you gotten any time uh, like an experience of exper uh, meeting parrot in a friend's house or somewhere? Yes. Right? So you generally say me too, right? I don't know what you say for me. But yeah, me too generally we say. And if you see one thing, the parrot is only going to repeat whatever you are going to say. Right? What has been, what um, that uh, parrot has been taught. Like if someone says hi, to say hi, like that, right? Have you thought to go to parrot and say, hey parrot, what is artificial intelligence? Can you tell me? What a uh, parrot is going to do? He's going to just sit quietly, right? So now, that is what I'm trying to say. They are intelligent, but not up to that extent. Now coming to artificial intelligence. So again, when we talk about artificial intelligence, so uh, it's the study of design of intelligent agents, computers which have the ability to analyze the environment and produce the action which maximizes the success. 
that means when you have a machine which is able to take the decision by their own after training of course then in that case we can call it artificially intelligent so the question comes up is are the computer in front of you which is like uh, the amazing innovation right uh, so where you can watch movie you can uh, listen songs you can do calculations you can write docs you can make reports and all of that at one time right we can do this all at one day in background youtube is playing and we are also making reports we are doing many things so do you think that computer is an ai with these qualities no yes the correct answer is no <coughs> because that has been programmed to do that somewhere the programs are written in the back that if you double click this this should open this should not be stopped till the uh, you are not pressing the cross arrow key so this is totally correct now what do you see in this two images okay do you think that man sitting is handsome अरे ऐसे नहीं लिखना है दो नहीं बताने क्या हो रहा है उसमें यूर इमेज प्रोसेसिंग हो रही है पहले दैट इन सेकेंड इमेज Sound recognition only, but with the eyes of a student, you can see it's like there is some buses going, some boxes coming, someone is trying to talk to a machine, right? Now, still so basically, you can consider it as a uh, recording from a cellular ring sound. Okay, so what happens here is, can you see it? So the video is moving. So just think you are sitting inside it, okay, like this. Okay, and what happens is you are not driving it. Now it's taking this left turn, right? And when it reaches to this zebra crossing, it detects the person as as well as a bike. Although that's a baby in a toddler, but of course for a machine, it's a person with a bike. It stops itself, right? So can we say this is AI? Yes, because it's taking decision by its own whether this is human or not, right? Similarly, when I come to the second part, that is of course an Alexa, a person talking to Alexa. <coughs> it says, "Do I need an umbrella?" So machine says, "No, it is expected in San Francisco today." So, what do you think? Like, why we can call this AI? Real time. Real time. Okay, of course we can say that questions are randomly we are putting in machine is able to come up with the answer that in English language, right? Of course that is not the language which machines use. They use zero and one. Thus we can consider that one part more. If you see here, it mentions no rain, right? First part. Second is expected. And third part is San Francisco. Okay, so it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words. And if I say no rain, is making it AI. Expected is making it AI. San Francisco today is also making it AI. Now let's see how. So no rain. Do we only use umbrella for the rains? No, right? And as they like, just consider, we don't know this is San Francisco. Just try to look out of the window of the person. It seems a very beautiful city, right? So might be there, uh, they might be having uh, snowfalls. So umbrella can be used in snowfalls. It can be used for sunlight. But machine was able to come up with a direct answer, no rain. Okay. The second is expected. It's just not talking about what happened yesterday, what was recorded in the data, but it is trying to tell you which has not happened, right? So prediction. The third is San Francisco today. That is, it is able to locate that person or locate itself, locate itself, right? So now if you combine it, then machine is not only answering the person in the language, but 
also you can say that it is coming up with so many predictive predictions that it's also saying no rain expected in San Francisco today. So able to locate the person, come to a point that okay, <coughs> machine might have taken a decision, right? I should say no rain, no sunlight, no high sunlight, no uh, typhoon or anything is going to come. But it came up with the no rain. That means machine was somewhere, came up with one decision. That to a prediction, that to a particular place. That is why we are considering these two examples of the AI. Everyone agrees with this? Any doubts, anything you want to ask, anything you want to add? No? 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 So no to bolo? No. Okay, what are the advantages of AI? So speed of execution, they are not lazy. <laughs> okay. So accuracy is less bias. Okay. So coming back to the part, so we can say speed of execution. So do you agree? That if a machine is having an AI that is it, is, it would be like little working with high speed, right? They are not lazy, of course, like, I, if I take this example, you would, uh, like, of course, you all are experienced as well as graduate people. So you would agree with me, like, even if I give you a small task of daily coming at 9 a.m., uh, switching, switching on this particular switch, okay? So I can assure you, in one week you would be able to do it, even though you get a full expertise, like from here also you throw it and you like you can switch it on and switch it off. There would be one day when you won't be able to do it in just one go. This happens to every one of us, right? This happens to means sometimes it happens like someone asks what is two cross four. We are not able to think, right? Because when we do a certain things again and again, our expertise starts losing. So it's like a different curve, it's not like just going high and high, right, it also comes down. But for machine it's not, if you repeatedly ask to switch it on, switch it off, they would be doing it from, from uh, morning to evening, okay. <coughs> they are not going to get tired as well, accuracy. Somewhere you think machines are more accurate than human in certain cases, right. Less bias, this is a point of discussion, we will take two minutes on this. So computers are not affected, influenced by the emotions. Feelings, wants, needs, the factors that often cloud, uh, could our judgment and intelligence. Okay, so do you think uh, this is an advantage of AI? Right? <coughs> do you think this is also a disadvantage of AI? Right? So just think of uh, time when doctors are replaced by the AI machines and the bank people are replaced by AI machines. Right? So what will happen? If someone comes and they say the, to a machine doctor that I have like this as you 300 rupees is a charge for doctor visit. You say I have 299. No? Bring one rupee. Then only I'll give you the medicine. Right? This can be one factor. Similarly in bank you say this is my fact, my money. No? There is no dot. You will dot, if you are going to use a dot, no, the dot distance is not appropriate, right? So in the public, when we are dealing with the public, certain cases there might be a chance that these less biasness can be a disadvantage as well. Now we are going to work with applications of AI, so do you all agree we have an application of AI? You mentioned games, so who mentioned the game? Can you please tell me some names of the game except of G. Yeah, chess, that's great. Huh? Counter strike, okay. Okay, we have so sorry. So export systems, we have speech recognition, face recognition, text recognition, intelligent robots and computer vision. So I'll come to this part again. So do you think this is an AI? This is a part of computer vision. So what is happening in the video is Basically you can see the pancakes are on the tray, right? The machine is not only just picking it up, but also checking. The first thing is it is checking whether it's baked or not. Then the number is put 
that which should be the first and which should be the last, right? The third is it is uh, there is a robotic. I have one of my friend mentioned that we can have the robotics arm to work with. So this is one of that application where robotic arm is able to pick up the pancakes. So now again come to the face recognition. This part. Do you know what screen this look like? कहाँ का है ये picture? Facebook. ये मैं को बड़ा जोर से सुना हूँ. Okay. Fine. So we know face recognition works in Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and many more, right? So now if I say how does it work? So you all are of my age. So if you remember when we used to use the Facebook when we were class six or fifth. So I remember at that particular time Facebook was not with this capability that it comes up with the names. Somewhere that day we were the one who were tagging ourselves. Right in every photo, oh, this is me. Okay, this is me. Then what happened? We gave our data. Now what is happening is it's using our data, developed feature. Now it's coming up. Oh, see, this is you. Even if in the party you don't want to be recognized, oh, see, this is you. Right? So this is how exactly the data is gathered, then trained, and then used to come up with the face recognition part. Chess. One of my friends just said. In morning, I think we someone said about the YouTube, right? So may I know how we think that YouTube is using the AI? Algorithms. Ah, algorithms. But uh, I wanted to hear about the application. That like what parts make us feel that this is an AI? Right. So recommendations. So what happens? Recommendation system is basically a part of artificial intelligence. So if you see, like you are watching us, uh, uh, some videos, and after that, if uh, you find a video, so you will try to type of video. So that, hap that happens due to AI. So that is a recommendation system. What happens in that is basically like we five are in one location, right? So we have found one restaurant. Right after the store, what what did we do is we found some movie place. Right then after that we found some we try to search for some malls. Right similar type of thing we are doing. So what will happen like instead means at the last they three might have searched for something else like going to airport. Right even I don't want to go for airport. Still machine is going to show me. Do you want to go to airport? Because why I would like to go to airport? Because these three people went to airport after doing the similar type of activity. So this is somewhere we call it the recommendation system. So why this is as per like uh, algorithms you we have in recommendation system. This works with. It. So this generally works with the movie ratings as well. Sir, they recognize the trademark. Like if you use the song from the different and we can upload. Recognize by uploading the video. Yeah, also they use this part like you cannot use others' audio songs, right? So they recognize it. Similarly, they also use it for the image recognition that as soon as you put up any video which is not appropriate for society, it bans you, right? So, yeah, there are many things which YouTube use. One of them is recommendation system. Recommendation system is also used in Amazon, you might have seen. People buy this together. Product. I don't know, sometimes I'm very surprised with that. If I am buying a OnePlus phone, right, if it is showing recommendation of buying a cover, okay. It is showing the recommendation of buying a, uh, what do we say, what do we say this? Screen. Screen guard, it's okay. It is showing me to buy one more, OnePlus phone. I already spent 20,000 now, 20,000 more, what I will do? But it works as per other people do, because when there is a sale, people buy two, three phones together, okay? So yeah, now coming back to Alexa, I think we already know about it, and we have a big experience with this. You might have worked with your smartphone, which has Google Assistant, Siri, as now Alexa is also present in some of the phones, right? 